All right, well, we're now done with game 11, so we can move on at last to game 12. And we're going to try out the same strategy as before. Have our best players in all at once. And we'll just go from there. I like playing the super defensive strategy. Who are we up against? They've got Randolph, Bongo Bongo, uh, Liz, Stevie Little, Todd Xavier. Oh, no, they got Arnold from the Magic School Bus. They got... Uh, the Thornton kid, who's a, a pro, and he looks like Arnold for Magic School Bus. And they got Jason Van Gogh. <gasps> We're finally on Mr. Shinkle's pool! Yes! <laughs> finally! Hey there, all you hyped-up hockey lovers. I'm Sunny Day. Along with me is none other than the Baron of the Blue Lines himself, Buddy Check. Oh, man, this is so awesome. Well, on paper, today's game looks like a mismatch. But anything can happen in this league, Sonny, and it usually does. You know, Sonny, this here situation reminds me of one time where I... Oh, wait, that was somebody else. I love the pool <laughs> wall in the background. Yeah. We're coming to you live from Mr. Shinkle's pool for an interesting matchup between the Wobbly Wombats and the Florida Panthers. The well, Florida Floridians don't know how to the skate. Starts. There's no we ice in Florida. <laughs> we got this. Uh-oh, they're dressed in red and white. We're dressed in red and white. Bongo Buttersmith. His name is Buttersmith. That's an interesting name. Okay, cool. I love how you've got the little, like, the pool dividers <laughs> under the ice. That's so good. Alright. Let's see how good their team is. Oh, wow. They shot at the goal immediately. But Dimitri scores immediately! <laughs> We're gonna have to write these down. There's gonna be a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this course is really fun. Definitely one of the... This is the best themed course in the entire game. Although I personally like the Squirrel Creek's look a little more. Shuggy! Shuggy! Angela! <laughs> <laughs> you are off sides, Rudolph. I mean, Randolph. Let's go. I'm, st I'm just so hyped to finally play on the pool. And you've even got, like, the sand-colored tile around the pool. I hope Mr. Schinkel approved of his pool being used as in the National Hockey League, even if it is the Little League. Yowie! Thanks for the puck, loser! <laughs> oh, almost. Chucky! Oh, Chucky Cobb! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, if there's a Freddy Fish Easter egg here? I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. Yeah. Grab it. Was that Mr. Shinko on the wall there? Get off the ice, eh? Who said that? Was that Arnold? No, Arnold's not in yet. Oh, they were waiting for that one. Oh, I was outside, really? <laughs> Rats. So I have to keep my eyes peeled on the action, so I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, you're right. There is a Freddy Fish towel. Oh, that's great. The goals sound different on Mr. Shinkle's pool when you, when you make contact with them. What's your favorite place to play ice hockey? Mr. Shinkle's pool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that guy just flopped. <laughs> Everybody do the flop. Chunky! Yeah! <laughs> this is a great start. To be fair, Mr. Shinkle is not too happy with them freezing his pool over. Yeah, they're, they're, 
carries a Pumpa Towel as well. Just forever proof Mr. Shingle's pool is like the best map. Oh. Start scoring some goals Good here, Sonny. It would be interesting to see how real Pocky plays out compared to how when I played backyard hockey. Like, there's probably a lot more passing. Oh, Chunky Kong got the super cheap shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get out your funny hats. <laughs> oh, good, good try. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus, and we're skating on the pool. Oh. Just like that, we get put it to the other side. Oh no, you trip Chunky! You can't do that! Chunky's my best player! Where would I be without him? Yes! I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're doing great! This is even better than the last game. Darn it! I was a, I was about to say I was thinking we haven't had any calls for roughing yet, and then like as soon as I kind of sort of said it out loud, boom, Chunky got removed. What type of power up? Uh oh. They got the snowplow. That's not good. In case you couldn't tell, the snowplow will have their players like always knock our guys down just by touching them. Oh good, Chunky's back. Just like Boba Fett. Chunky! Yes! I got a bad feeling about them letting a gorilla play on their team, Sonny. <laughs> Be glad we didn't put Cranky Calm on our team. Then you would literally have no chance. No! Oh, but way to body block! Okay, don't even try to take the puck from them. Don't even try to take it from them. Otherwise, we won't be able to swap our guys out. That was a fantastic period one. Uh, I got to salt Mr. Shingle's pool. I still believe. I love it when Buddy says that. Oh, uh, don't mind us. We just got to pour the special solution on Mr. Shingle's pool. Good job, Pete. I, I feel bad not having you this season, but here we are. Oh, Chunky didn't get any increases in his goalkeeping. We better give him some more opportunities. Here we are. The home team makes a line change. Yeah, we did. Chunky never gets to rest. Actually, yes, he does. When he inevitably gets pulled out for roughing, he gets to rest. <laughs> all right, Keisha, that's all you. Never mind, Pablo got it. Darn it! I have three defenders, so where were they? <laughs> oh yeah, I love that too. The actual official ice skating rinks just are like, we hired Pete to... to... salt... not salt the ice. That would make it melt. Oh, good job, Pablo. <laughs> you don't have to. It's just there as an option. Wow. Oh. Come on. Yeah, just throw Mikey out. That wasn't even roughing. It was just taking the puck. <laughs> Keisha! 
Mr. Phillips up! Keisha! Oh, that guy put in the goal himself. Oh, man! I can't believe we scored on ourselves. I don't know why he sounds like Goofy. Gosh, Max, how could we score on ourselves in a game of hockey? Wow! Keisha was relentless, but the goalie just didn't care. I want another chance! Keisha Phillips! Oh, darn it, they intercept that. I know that kid can't pass worth squat, so I saw it coming. <laughs> Thanks for just giving it to Mikey. Just hit the puck across Mikey's like fallen body. Oh, a lot of energy, Keisha. That was good. Oh, offsides. Makes sense. To be fair, if you have a pool in the Midwest, you probably have to convert the pool into an ice skating rink in the winter. Their team is, like, very blatantly Canadian. Oh, no! I didn't even shoot it. I said pass it to the guy right next to me, and they blatantly shot it in our goal. I am still ashamed of my players, though. Almost. Yeah, you'd think after all that advice, buddy, that my guys would actually know how to pass, but they don't. Oh, not quite. Way to move out of the way, Keisha. Thanks for giving me the puck. How did she get that? Wow, how in the world did Chunky get that in his hands? Oh, man. Good job, Liz. That was well done. That was well done. You know, I don't like that attitude there, buddy. I don't know how the heck the puck got down there, but all right. Mikey, stop picking your nose and actually grab the puck. Sorry, coach. Now, of course it was Keisha who got pulled out. There. Someone tripped. Just pull out the biggest kid who's currently on the field, even if they weren't near it. I forgot they named the guy Bongo Buttersmith. I feel like I feel like that name would not fly nowadays. Good job, Pablo. But you probably should. Wow! I love frame one trips. You know, whenever people complain that Super Smash Bros. Brawl had tripping, just let them play back here at hockey for a bit. They'll change their mind. This isn't that bad. <laughs> I don't know. I still really hated Super Smash Bros. Brawl. <laughs> Brawl was breaking. Brawl had the best music and the best story. And the best stage builder. Good job, ever. I, I was off sides when I didn't even have the puck. I thought we had that one. 
Come on, come on. And you gotta be sure of that shot. Shot off the ice. He's got the fight. Let's just scoop a doop a doop a. Keisha Phillips, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Keisha. Keisha's gonna party. Let's get it, Keisha. Put her in. No. Nope. I thought they were going to say saved by Stevie Wonder for a second there. Wow, that was an impressive shot by the goalie. There we are! Tell me about the intermission, buddy. Those are your best lines. I still believe! Well, maybe you shouldn't. All right, maybe this will be the game that Reese can get the goals. All right, if Angela's at center, she's gonna hit it to, I want her to hit it to Reese. But I swear, like, no matter where I put them, they never hit it to Reese in the face-off. I still left Chunky on the goal. We'll see how that goes. Unfortunate. Darn it, Reese, you're always in the place where the puck isn't. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, Reese, what did <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you love to see it. That's for all you the Reese fans out there. Let's try to do it again. Oh, not quite. They had, we had the whole team in their car way. <laughs> like literally all six players. Hey! 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 Sorry, it opened a menu outside of the game and I had to close it. Oh no, Reese, you tripped! Imagine if we could get a Reese Worthington hat trick. <laughs> Good job! This I do not agree that this is the best backyard game ever. This is top three backyard games, though. Assuming we're not counting the different seasons of backyard baseball as different games. Reese Worthington! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Break out the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, man! They mean business now. They're tripping Reese for him. Wow, that guy didn't even try. Not Reese's way. Yeah, Reese hat trick! Yes. Let's just keep it up. Let's see how many goals Reese can get. Hey, nice pass. <laughs> nice pass. <laughs> oh man. Reese trips pretty easily. Chunky's been killing it as the goalie. That girl always trips Reese. He's got it. And the ref is just plugging his eyes for the whole game. Hard shot by Big Toe. Oh no! Reese, if you didn't trip, that definitely would have been in. 
Angela hasn't scored yet. We should try to let her score as well. That didn't happen! Man, this has been a long time since anyone scored or someone's been, like, roughing. It's shocking how long that's been going on, actually. Oh, there we go! Yeah, get out of here, Bungle Butter. Get out of here, Mr. Butterworth. Angela, you're not open if you have the puck. Oh, the super speed! Dimitri, good job! <laughs> Pause. I had no clue they could do a hat trick. I also learned from watching editing, the super speed glitch doesn't actually just give you infinite super speed, it just makes it look like... It just gives you the super speed, like, visual effect. Oh, Jason! Jason, don't you have the X-Files to watch or something? Or Paige to go bother? Both my guys just dipped when I won the thing. Well, maybe I didn't win the thing. Do not tell me Reese pulled out. Alright. Snip, 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 snip. Are you serious? Oh, that was Dimitri, apparently. <laughs> what I'm learning is that games at the Sh Mr. Shingle's pool are the best games. Man, they are constantly winning the face-offs now, though. <laughs> Granted, their guys have a lot more juice than mine do, because they just swapped their uh, team out. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> the guys just skate near Reese and he trips. Dimitri just spawned on top of the puck! <laughs> it's like, okay, Dimitri, you're touching them. I gotta spawn here and get the puck instantly! Like, literally! <laughs> they were about to grab it, and Dimitri's just like, surprise! <laughs> that does make sense, but it just, it feels like some characters also trip more quickly than others. Like, Angela and Reese and Mikey, it all feels like they... Four points for Reese. Yes. <laughs> Buddy's just contradicting himself. They're getting some good goals there. We're 10 points ahead with 9 seconds on the clock, buddy. Count your guys out. <laughs> oh. Couldn't give Angela a goal, but that's okay. Reese got four of them. How is Reese not the star of the game? Three stars of the game. Thanks, Sonny. Today's third star of the game is Chunky. Today's second star of the game is Angela Del Vecchio. And today's first star of the game is Dimitri <laughs> Pet. The three stars are brought to you by Pucksberry Cut and Cook Hockey Pucks. All the goodness of homemade hockey pucks. Now in the convenience of a can. Reese today's is the number one star of the game in our hearts. Put a Pucksberry biscuit in your basket today. Have we... Has he done... The sponsor for the electric underwear That's yet? All, folks. Oh! Llama's playoff time. bound! We made it to the playoffs in Sports Magazine. <laughs> oh, I should read it. Backyard Times. Sports Magazine. Llama's playoff bound! A team building momentum for postseason. By winning today, the team easily clinched the playoff berth. We're glad to be in the playoffs, but we, er, we're glad to be in the playoffs, but we still got a long way to go, said Reese Worthington. Oh, why do they call us the Llamas? The Wombats. Is this a different team? Then they mentioned Reese. That was weird. 